welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and a post-holiday weigh-in stroke catch-up video. It feels like I've not spoken to you in forever, but it's only been a couple of weeks and I just wanted to let you know what's been happening since we've been on holiday and let you know my post-holiday weigh-in. So today is Thursday the 6th of August, I think. Yeah, the 6th. Um, so I didn't weigh in last Thursday because we were still away but two weeks ago today I did weigh in. On that day I was 136.6 pounds. However, I then went away on holiday and ate a whole load of junk. <laughs> there was no diet whatsoever apart from whatever junk and convenience food I could get into my mouth, that's what I had. So I was having pasta and pizza and chicken nuggets and rolls and that sort of thing. I was having biscuits and cakes, um, hot donuts in Blackpool. Oh, I love hot donuts. A uh, pancake in Blackpool. Um, with I had half with chocolate spread and half with lemon and sugar. That was the same pancake that um, Brooke had that the seagull stole, if you saw that vlog. <laughs> Cheeky, cheeky. That's two years in a row that's happened. Um, so yeah, I just ate a whole load of rubbish. The other thing was that intermittent fasting went out of the window as well because it was a case of being completely... If you can hear that, Molly is chasing her tail. she like. Sorry about the lighting today. I don't know what's going on with this little halo of light here but it's annoying me and I just, I'm trying to get a balance and it's just not working. So we're going with it. We are going with it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the routine was out the window so there was no intermittent fasting either. I was eating late at night, I was eating early in the morning and it just wasn't good. And as usual, I didn't particularly enjoy it. I loved the thought of being able to eat what I want and not having to think about it. But the way that I felt physically wasn't really great. After a few days, in fact, when we were at Alton Towers, I thought I was going to have to go back onto keto because I started getting that pain again. But it went away and I pushed through it. So because it was just going to be too awkward for me to eat keto and everybody else just to have what they were having. So I pushed through it and I was fine. And I came back, we came back on Sunday. So it was basically, it was 11 days of eating crap. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, I've been back on keto and loving it. So Monday and Tuesday, I had two creamy coffees and a main meal. And then yesterday I had two creamy coffees and a main meal, but then I was hungry later on. So I had a square of the lint 70% dark chocolate and then I was still hungry. So I had one of the sugar-free jellies with cream and that did the trick, that filled me up. And I have been back to intermittent fasting again since Monday as well. So I'm feeling a lot better for eating that way again. But in general, as you can probably tell, I'm just going to address the elephant in the room, I'm feeling crap. <laughs> um, if you've been around this channel for any length of time, you'll know that I've got an underlying illness and one of the main symptoms is chronic fatigue. And thankfully, I was pretty good when I was away on holiday. I had the odd day that I wasn't great, which was fine because we were at Flamingo Land, so it meant that Jack could go in and out the park with the girls and keep them amused while I rested up in the caravan. Molly really, really is fascinated by her tail this morning. Mirage. Um But when we came back on Monday, eh, on Sunday, sorry, I was tired, but I was okay. And then Monday was the mammoth washing. Because of COVID and things, the laundrettes, most of them were closed. So I didn't even bother trying to do any washing when I was away. So I had 11 days worth of washing to catch up on when I came back for the four of us plus all the towels and the, the blankets and things like that. So I think that was the final straw. And the last couple of days I've been in my bed and I will be going back there again once I've finished this video, which is why I don't look the best today. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, 
but we had a brilliant holiday and it was worth it and I know that I'll get over this I'm not ill as such it's just really my chronic fatigue um so weigh in wise I had no idea what to expect I knew I would be getting a gain and I was happy with that I was hoping it wouldn't be too big again having been back on um keto since Monday so like I said two weeks ago today I was 136.9 I think I'll put the figures up for you you know what I'm like and today when I stepped on the scales I was three pounds heavier I was 139.9 pounds so exactly three pounds I put on in two weeks which considering what I ate really wasn't bad at all and I'm fine with that because I know I'll get it off I'm still under the 10 stone mark which is good and I am what four pounds away from my four and a half pounds away from my target so I'm fine I'm perfectly fine with that it's well worth it to have a holiday isn't it it's just it's so worth it and I think that's everything that I had for my weigh in part of this catch up so if you're only here for the weigh in and you want to go now I completely understand thank you so much for tuning in however if you want to find out all the other news that's been happening since we came back then stick around so the first bit of news is I finally got my new car yay at last now you may remember way back in February, I did a vlog where we went to the caravan show in Glasgow and I ordered my new car that day. So that was the beginning of February and I finally picked up my new car on the 3rd of August. So that was Monday when we came back. I finally picked it up, basically because of COVID. The garage was shut for three months, so I would have had it probably in May, but the way things were, it was August but that's fine I've got it now and I love it I've only driven it once because I haven't been well basically I drove it back from the garage on Monday and it's been sitting outside since but the little drive that I did have of, of it it was lovely so for anyone doesn't who doesn't know I got a Kia Nero hybrid so it's a petrol and electrical it's a self-charging hybrid so it runs on battery when it can and then it'll kick into the petrol when it needs it so i'm hoping it's going to be a lot more economical than the zafira that i had before because it's a smaller car and it's a hybrid it's a brand new car and it's in graphite which is a lovely color i love it you know i like my greys so i got it in graphite and it seems to have all the fancy gadgets and things um inside it i've not had a proper chance to play with it yet like i said but i think it's going to be fab really really fab so i'm so happy that i've finally got my new car other news, when we were away we got told that the schools in Scotland are definitely, or our schools anyway, are definitely going back full time from next week and that they will be needing uniforms. Now the previous update to that was that um, Brooke was going to be going in on a Thursday and Friday every week and she wasn't going to need a uniform or school bag or anything like that. And Abby was going to be going in for a week at a time, but every second week. So she would be in for a week, then off for a week. So we found out when we were away that that's not happening. They're going back full time. And then I got an email on Monday to say that Brooke does need uniform. So that was a bit crazy. So I went straight onto the George website and um, I have ordered her just a couple of pairs of trousers and her polo shirts and cardigans, things like that. Her school generally has got its own uniform that you order through the school. It's got a lovely tartan uniform, um, but I got her to try on her pinafer and her kilts and they still fit her not too bad. So we're going to get away with them for at least a few, maybe a couple of months, I would think, and then I might need to order more. But at the moment we'll get away with them but her cardigan was too wee for her so I've ordered her a couple of cardigans and her jumpers again we'll get away with for a month or so so that was fine um Abby was also needing uniform and I was planning to take her to Brayhead on Tuesday um when Jack came in from work to get what she needed but I wasn't well 
and not only was there not well, the flooding, my goodness, the rain was non-stop on Tuesday and people were actually getting sent home from Jack's work early because all the roads were getting closed from flooding. So there was no way I was going out anyway, even if I was well enough. And I had rescheduled it to last night, but again, I wasn't well. So Jack ended up taking Abby Ann Brook yesterday after his work. Um, got Abby bits and pieces that she needed for her uniform, but not a lot. Quiz was really disappointing, apparently, and so was New Look um, this year. And there's never anything in Primark for Abby school-wise. So, but she did get her shoes and her school bag and things like that. And she's going to get some other stuff online. And I'm just going to get her shirts out of George as well, because it's only school shirts at the end of the day. There's no point. She said that Quiz had a shirt that looked like a normal school shirt, but it was £14. You can get a five pack for that in George. So thankfully she didn't buy that. She's going to just let me get her shirts from George. And Brooke I told her to get school shoes while they were out, but Brooke and her wisdom got boots. You don't need boots, Brooke. It's still only August, but she just needs to go with it now because she got them um, and she got like a little rain jacket and we did order her a bag and a packed lunch box and a pencil case from Amazon which she loves but it turns out that they're not allowed them <laughs> because when they said they needed uniform and that they'd be going in full time I assumed it would mean that they would be allowed their school bag and things but no They've not to be taking things in and out of school just now. Brooke anyway, Abby can. So she's not to take a school bag. She can take her pencil case, but it gets left in school. And when she takes her packed lunch, she has to take it in disposable packaging so that it can just be binned after the, at the end of the day. She's not allowed to be taking a packed lunch box in and out because of COVID. What a I don't know what this is going to do to the environment, by the way, because it's going to have to be a carrier bag every day that gets binned because I've got no other way of doing it. I've got nowhere to buy or the means to buy like paper bags for her to take it in. And they are actually going back next week. So next Tuesday, the 11th of August, our schools officially go back. But the Tuesday is an in-service day for the teachers. So the girls aren't in that day. And they were both due to be going back on Wednesday, the 12th of August. However... Brooke will still be going back on Wednesday and that will be her in full time. But Abby got an email yesterday to say that fifth and sixth year at her school aren't going back until the Friday. So Abby gets an extra two days off, the jammy girl, and Brooke is not happy, as you can imagine. That's not fair that she gets an extra two, two days off. Granny Annie's just came in. I'll be back in a minute. Sorry about that. These neighbours, they just walk in and out as they feel. <laughs> yeah, that was Granny Annie just coming in to say hello. Um, oh, there's Clyde on the couch now. Right, what was I saying? Yes, Brooke wanted you to see her school bag and things. So I'm going to show you because she's back in her bed since we got disturbed. Her school bag she loves. You know she's horse mad. So she got a black rucksack with a horse on it that says, Real athletes ride horses. Others just play games. So that is very true about Brooke. She's not interested in any other sports other than horse riding. Well, her canny cross she enjoys, but her horse riding is her main, her main game, if you like. And so she's not allowed to take her school bag in just now. But I'm hoping that by Christmas everything will be back to normal. Um, and the other thing that she got that she's not allowed to take in is her packed lunch. And again, it's horses, look. Uh, it's like a horse poking its head through the wall and it's a thermal, I think it's thermal anyway, yes, it's a thermal pack lunchbox, soft and it's got a pocket in it for her bottle, it's got a small carry handle and it's also got a strap that she can put over her shoulder which is good. Her pencil case which she is allowed to take in but she has to leave at school is that so again horses 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 that girl and because she wanted all horses it was more expensive than i would normally pay for going back to school it's just a normal pencil case so brooke did pay some money towards it as well so that's what she got anyway the other news school wise is abby got her exam results the other day and i am so proud of her as you know 
things were very different this year because of COVID, the exams were cancelled, so it was estimated grades that they got based on the work that they had done so far throughout the year and their prelim. Mm -hmm. Abby had a good idea of what she would get but wasn't 100% sure. So she got her results through, she got her certificate and let me tell you what she got. I'm just going to be a proud mummy for a moment. So this was our nat five year, our national five year. I don't know what the equivalent is in England. When I was at school, it was standard grades at this stage and she's going on to do her hires this year. Um, but nat five is the equivalent of what was standard grades when I was at school, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so she did her cosmetology course, which was actually a college course based at school. So it's marked slightly differently, but she got an equivalent of an A for that. She got an A for her English. She got a B for her music, a B for her drama, and she got a C for her admin and IT, and a C for modern studies, which is going to appeal, but I'll talk about that in a minute. And she did fail her maths, but we knew that was going to happen because she'd really struggled with her maths and in particular her maths teacher throughout the year. But it's a shame because she was really knuckling down and trying hard with her maths before the whole COVID thing. So there was a chance she would have passed it, but it doesn't matter. She's going to work hard, do it again this year and she'll get it this year. So that isn't an issue. So as far as her C's go, she's appealing them because all of the work that she had done up to COVID suggested that she was on track for an A for her admin and IT, but she got a C. And she was also on track for a B for her modern studies, and again she got a C. However, you might have seen on the news that there has been a lot of controversy around the estimated grades. They're basically taking an average of the class or the year group and working it out that way rather than just looking at their previous marks. So there's going to be a lot of appeals going on. She actually only, she phoned the school yesterday to appeal her admin and IT. It was actually the school that suggested that she appeal her modern studies as well because they said, no, you should have got a better result than that. So even the school knows that the SQA have messed up. But even if the C's still stand, I don't care because that's still really good results. I'm so, so proud of her. And hopefully she was going to knuckle down just as hard again this year, which is going to be hard for everyone, especially after having all that time studying at home and then going back to the school environment again. But I know that she's going to work hard and she'll get her hires next year. So yeah, really, really proud of her. And that's her going into fifth year and Brooke is going into primary seven. So this is her last year at primary school coming up. And um, yeah, she's going to do great as well. Um, what else news wise? Sorry, this is quite a long chatty one, but there's been a few things. I did pick up the camera on Monday to vlog just the sort of day because I knew that it was going to be one of those days that I was going to be busy and things like that. And I was going to get back on keto. But to be honest, I was just too exhausted and I had too much to do. So I, I, I didn't bother. I thought I'll just do a proper catch up with you like this rather than that. Um, the other thing, oh yeah, the other thing that happened on Monday, oh, apologies for not yet having the Alton Towers theme park vlog up, I know I've got the caravan bit of it up but I've not got the theme park bit yet or the Flamingoland Resort vlogs up, they are edited and ready to go but I've just not been well enough to get out there and or out for long enough to upload them, so they are hopefully going to be uploaded tomorrow it just depends on how well I am, if I'm able to go out or not. Talking about having to upload on the internet and things, BT had assured us the middle of June we were meant to get the fibre broadband put in. And it was in all the area apart from ours. <laughs> Our neighbour two doors along's got it, but we've not. And it was to do with the poles or something that has to be in sight of your house. And because we've got trees and other neighbours and things like that, Anyway, we weren't able to get it, but they did assure us that it would be in place when we came back from holiday, so it would just be a case of them actually coming in and installing it. However, surprise, surprise, that hasn't happened. Apparently traffic management let them down, they're going to have to put roadworks outside for them to put the pole in, and apparently the contractors let them down. 
So they have assured me 100% that the traffic management will start on the 21st of August and the work will be completed on the 24th of August and then it'll just be a case of getting it actually um, installed in the house. So hopefully by the end of this month I will be able to upload videos more regularly without actually having to go outside and use my 4G. It's such a carry on. I was raging. I was absolutely raging when I came back and they know that. I have opened a complaint now because it's ridiculous that it's gone on so long and um, they have said that once the work's completed they'll look at any compensation that were due but I've told them that never mind the compensation if they haven't got it done this time by the end of this month I'm going to my MP and I'm going to uh, the Ombudsman because it's just getting ridiculous. Anywho, that's the internet. It's alive! It's alive! The teenager is out of her bed before nine o'clock. Well, seeing she's going to Glasgow with her friends today. <laughs> go on, come and let them see, see the state of you. Go on, go on. <laughs> she's alive, but doesn't look it. She looks as dead as I do. Um, I was just telling them how proud I am of you, Abby. We're getting all your good grades. And she's getting money to go to Glasgow today with her friends from me. Um, as a congratulations and also from Granny Annie as well so that will be good um, anyway what was I saying oh yeah internet so hopefully I'll be able to start uploading properly again from the end of this month but like I say apologies those videos aren't up they are edited they will be up very very shortly and finally the last thing that I've got to say is this weekend, Jack and his dad are going to climb Ben Nevis on Saturday. And it's been a sort of last minute thing and it's in aid of a family member. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this video, but I am gonna do a separate video because you might remember, if you were with me through Vlogmas last year, you'll remember that we had a couple of really bad illnesses. We Millie, um, my cousin's wee girl, was in the hospital most of the Christmas period. Um, she is doing not bad now, she's still getting treatment and um, she's got good days and bad days. She's still waiting for proper results but they think it's Crohn's that she's got. Um, her auntie, my cousin, has also got Crohn's and it looks like it's the same thing that she's got but for an 11 year old coming up, no she's just turned 12 actually, for a 12 year old just going into high school that's a lot for her to cope with. Um, but she's doing not too bad now. And the other one I couldn't say much about other than she was really, really ill. And I couldn't say because she's just a wee top, she's just tiny, she's only three. And I didn't want to say anything at the time because first of all, we didn't know if she would even pull through. And second of all, I didn't know if her mum and dad would be happy with me talking about it because it's Jack's cousin's wee girl. Um, her dad is Jack's cousin. But I'm so happy to say that she is an absolute trooper. She is a wee superstar. She's actually a local hero just now, um, is Olivia. She's been in the newspapers. She's been on social media. Uh, someone's even done a TikTok about her. And she is doing so, so well. And I am going to do a separate video because it would be too much to talk about on this video, just explaining exactly what it is. But she's doing fab. So they are, a, a lot of the family are doing a Ben Nevis climb on Saturday for Olivia. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that Jack's going to be doing that with his dad on Saturday. And we're, we're proud of them for doing that. But we're so proud of Olivia for pulling through, considering before Christmas, we didn't think she was going to survive the night and like I say I'll do a separate video so look out for a video that's telling you the story of Olivia and um, yeah I'll tell you all about that amazing wee girl she is absolutely fantastic um, so yeah I think that's all the news that I had to tell you just now sorry it's been a bit bitty my head's all over the place with not feeling great being really tired I'm, I'm okay don't get me wrong I'm not complaining I'm not saying I'm ill I'm not saying I wish I hadn't gone on holiday we had a fantastic holiday and I loved every minute of it there was a few wee niggles but you'll hear about those in the vlogs um, it's just that I'm suffering for it now and I knew that I would it's just my body I'm not ill, it's just my chronic fatigue. I'll get over it. And like I said to Brooke about having to go back to school two days earlier than Abby, I'll just need to suck it up. 
I do these things because I want the family time, I want the fun, and I put up with the pain and the suffering that I have after it, and I know I'll come through it again. So hopefully by the time I see you next week, I will be up to full speed again. So yeah, I'll definitely do an As The Hall on Sunday, and I will hopefully get the other two holiday vlogs up over this next week, just depending when I'm able to get out and about as well. And I'll have another way and update for you next Thursday. I've got no plans to be off keto whatsoever. Jack's dad's coming to stay tomorrow night ahead of their Ben Nevis climb on Saturday. But even if they have a takeaway, I won't. I'm going to be a good girl. So yeah, that's that. Right. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please comment down below. Let me know how you're all getting on because I feel like I've not spoken to you for ages. And subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button for me and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.